Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Commander Masters and Lost Caverns. So I finally figured out due to the comment section, you guys were obviously more into new magic than me, but the mana crypts were from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. So the Lost Caverns, that was the set that Rudy Chan loves. He just loves that set, right? Because it's gone up in price because there is a chase. So they baited and switched. You, the player base, right? Command, I mean, Drew Lotus is the most obvious example, but we'll go over Mana Crypt. Drew Lotus, a card created specifically and only for Commander. Located in Commander Masters, the only card of the set worth $50 or more. In fact, it's worth 100 It has three different variants worth $100 plus, dollars, including the textured foil at over $500, $600 at one time. Uh, a must-have in every single ED8 deck. Let me repeat this again. It is a must-have. Ha must so if you were a competitive ED8 player, you probably either bought the Jewel Lotus or you opened some boxes hoping you could hit the Jewel Lotus. In fact, if you don't hit a Jewel Lotus, it is almost impossible for you to make back your money on the boxes, even if you hit the next 10 highest cards. Uh, they're all foil etched and textured, so there's not that many of them in a box anyway. So it's, it would be, I think, impossible to make back the $300, $250 value of a collector's booster box unless you hit the Jeweled Lotus in some capacity. Preferably textured, then you have the whole depth box paid for, and then some. Now you got the Mana Crypt. So these are two of the biggest staples. So let me repeat this again. These are two staples of... Magic Commander, they're, they're in every Commander deck, and they banned them. Now, they banned them. Now, who's banning them? So, the Sheldon guy, I think, rest in peace, the creator of ed I believe he used to do the Commander ban list, and then, obviously, he passed away. I am um, not sure who's doing this now. Is it Wizard of the Coast doing this right now? I think it's Wizard of the Coast doing this right now. The Mana Crypt, I mean, it's a very beautiful card in the Ixalan set. And I, I imagine it was the Chase because the most valuable card in the set is the regular version of the Mana Crypt. Now, there are some different variants of it worth a ton of money. This card has not been trouble until now. And I ask why, right? The Commander Advisory Group, who the hell are they? Do they have real names, or is this one of those anonymous things where no one kn knows? To meet you. That's Siri. Siri's upset, too. Um, I mean, where are these people? Like, who are these people, right? Um, yeah, Jeweled Lotus. A card specifically for Commander. It, I mean, it is crazy to me right i i mean it is crazy to me that this card i i get it if you want to make it like it costs two or it costs one or something like then make it that way but do not make this card this powerful and then just simply ban it right do not make this this powerful and then simply ban it so this is unprecedented. Uh, most of the bans are actually not, I mean, basically every deck, assuming that you're competitive, you have Jewel Lotus and you have Mana Crypt. Now the other two cards, one is a commander. So if you don't play the commander, you don't play the commander. The other one's Dark Side. I mean, yeah, if you play him, you play him, right? Um, this is really bad. Uh, remember, they, they banned Mox Opal. When they ba banned Mox Opal, right? Right? That was a big deal. Um, th I mean, but this is a bigger deal because this is a lot of money that is down to drain. And then, you know what? I, I guarantee you something. They're going to come up with another version of Jewel Lotus. They'll call it Jewel Lotus Petal. It's not like they've done that. Be oh, wait, they did. Uh, and then it'll be like, well, add one mana of any color to your thing. Right? And there will be like a Mox version, but only for Commanders. I could see it, right? So they made a Black Lotus version only for commanders. Why don't they make Moxes only for commanders? I mean, that would be my idea of like how to get more money, right? Because you always got to play your commander. I would just say, hey, man, like this is not a good 
look, I know a lot of people who don't have these cards. They are through the moon. They are so happy. Uh, they are just, uh, I mean, because they're, like, you know, they proxy. And, and again, maybe this is an argument uh, to proxy your cards instead because then you won't have this. Um, you know, the players have lost money. I have lost, I don't really care, but, you know, it's whatever. I have lost money, right? Uh, this is ridiculous. You used Lotus and Crypt to sell Masters and Ixlon. Probably made sure the warehouse was real empty first. The comment was clearly referring to the fact that Wizards of the Coast had recently reprinted Jewel Lotus as a Chase card in Commander Masters. And Mana Crypt as a Chase card in the Lost Caverns of Ixlon. And now the cards can't be used in the format they were popular in anyway. So, yeah, it's a crazy market, man. I would definitely say that uh, you should not buy these cards as investments. Anything not the reserve list, even the reserve list. One day they could, they could just ban dual lands, and that would be the end of the dual lands, right? From Commander. Uh, who is this committee? committee? Who, what, what are their names? They will never give it to you. It's one of these things when they were writing all those rainbow uh, articles, and it was like, hey, look at this rainbow. Look at this sunshine. Oh, Chandra definitely gay. How dare you uh, say Chandra is not gay, right? Um, anyway. I think that is kind of crazy. I think that is very crazy. Oh, you can't trust them because they're going to make a, a jeweled mox and then they'll ban the jewel max to make some more jeweled, like, you know, a jeweled soul ring or something like that. I mean, they probably will ban soul ring. I mean, soul ring is more powerful than the mana crypt, right? Like, in my opinion, it is, right? It's more reliable and just overall just more powerful of a card. So I'm not positive that this is the right way that they're looking at this. But at the same time, I totally get it. They need to sell more cards. So one way, so I mean, they can either choose to power creep. Or they can choose to do the very interesting thing, which would be to not power creep, but to ban the cards that are too powerful, then release cards around the similar power level. And then you, therefore, the customer would need to buy those cards. It's very interesting. I, I didn't expect them to ban both of them. So Mox Opal, they banned the Opal. People were upset. People understood. Okay, you banned the Opal. Here, I think people are less understanding because of Jewel Lotus itself is a card specifically meant to be played in Commander. In fact, it has no other utility. Like, I'm not kidding. It has no other utility. It literally says Commander in the blanking name. Um, what, what can you say, right? What can you say? What can you say, right? Anyway, let me know. Bye, guys.